Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn about how you can use pre and post commands to have more control over your control M jobs. Pre and post commands are useful because they are included as part of one job definition, but their return code is ignored, so their success or failure will not affect the overall job flow. These commands will be executed whether or not the actual job itself succeeds or fails. The output generated from these commands can be used to trigger on do actions, but only if the command is run in verbose mode. Otherwise, its output will not be recognized in the job output. An example of this is setting verbose mode in a Linux command shell script by putting dash xv into the shebang at the beginning of the script to allow collection of the command's standard output. One way that you can use pre and post commands is to add a delay in between jobs and a flow. Sometimes you may need the next job in a flow to simply wait for a moment before it kicks off in order for something its predecessor did to finish taking effect. Instead of creating a new job to run in between just to add time or making a job to check to see if it's ready, this is something that you can accomplish using post-execution commands on the predecessor jobs and or pre-execution commands on the successor jobs. Here I have a pair of jobs that run one after the other. The output just states the time, so I can see that this first one ran at 9 minutes and 21 seconds, and this next one kicked off just afterward at 23 seconds. Now, I've decided that those two seconds aren't enough, so I can modify the predecessor job on the General tab, expand the More section, and in Post-Execution command, I can add a command to wait 10 seconds, which on this system would be underscore sleep 10. I could also go into the successor job and set something similar in the pre-execution command. Now, if I rerun the pair of jobs, I can check the output again, and I see that the post-execution command of the first job completed before the pre-execution command of the second started, since just over 20 seconds passed between the execution of the first job and the execution of the second. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping should you need our assistance.